to my channel, this is Sherry and for today's video, I am going to talk about a new fragrance. I am checking myself right now in my screen. I just want to make sure that my skin is not too bright for the camera. I'm also actually filming another product review and if you are curious, it's this. It's the e.l.f. Camo CC Cream. This CC Cream is really well talked about right now, especially on TikTok. After editing it, I'm gonna link it on this video if you want to know my thoughts on the e.l.f. Camo CC Cream. But for today's video, I'm not here to talk about the e.l.f. but to talk about a new fragrance. This is what I'm talking about. You can't really see it well with this plastic thing, so I'm gonna put this right here. And this is what it looks like. It's called the Signature by Mont Blanc. Hmm, the box smells so good. This perfume is an amber flora fragrance for women. But before I tell you all the details about this perfume, let me tell you the story behind how I come across or how I found out about this perfume. Last Friday, I was at Nordstrom. I was hunting, well not really hunting, but I was actually planning on getting Santal 33 or the Becker Rouge perfume. I'm really, really curious and interested with those two perfumes because all of the people that I have been watching seems to rave about this perfume. The Santal 33 perfume is a niche perfume. It costs like 280, just this big, um, 280 without tax. And if I'm not mistaken, the Baccarat Rouge is 300 for this small bottle. It's pricey. If I'm blown away with this perfume, I'm gonna get either the Santal 33 or the Baccarat Rouge. While I was looking for these, particular perfumes, I had a consultant came up to me and asked if I need some help and of course I did. He has a stock of the Baccarat Rouge but on the Santal 33 only has um, a sample. He sprayed the Baccarat Rouge here and the Santal 33, <laughs> before I smelled the Santal 33, I tried three other perfumes. This perfume, he sprayed it on my skin, also here on my wrist. To be honest with you, when I first smelled the Santal 33, I automatically said to him that it was not for me. I don't know, it was just weird. At that time, was not as excited of the Santal 33. I went and explored with other perfumes. Anyway, I had a change of heart about Santal 33, which you will know next week on my next video. Between this one, which was sprayed on my wrist right here, and the Baccarat Rouge, this on my skin smelled dominantly than the Baccarat Rouge. And I got super, super excited when I smelled this. And so this is what I purchased. If you want to have an idea of what this scent is for me, in my perspective, then please keep on watching. I came home with this perfume. It's called the Signature by Mont Blanc. And it's awkward. If you want to be technical on how to pronounce it, go find it somewhere on YouTube. I don't know how to pronounce it. I tried, but they said you're supposed to not pronounce the T and C. They also have this nasal strategy that I don't know about. Mont, Mont, Mont Blanc. <laughs> Mont, Mont, Mont Blanc. Mont Blanc. That's how I would say this. This is a fairly new fragrance. It was launched back in 2020 around pandemic. This perfume was created by these people. I'm not gonna say it because it's just so hard to pronounce. This baby right here is an eau de parfum. If I'm not mistaken, it contains about like 15 to 20% of oil concentration. On an average, you can get four to five hours of the fragrance really working on your skin and up to the end of the night, you will find that the scent of it still lingers on um, your skin as well. This perfume has a very low amount of alcohol to ensure skin tolerance. I know you are excited to see what's inside. So here it is. This is the first time I take it out from the box because I really waited to make this video and I want to show you guys. The Mont Blanc signature is available as a 30 50 and 90. This is 90 ml bottle, which is the full-size bottle. 
and if you buy this at the store it costs $110 but my consultant suggested that I buy this like the whole set and it will only cost me $112 this lotion is 100 ml which is a very generous size and this is 0.25 fluence ounce there I'm going to give you a close-up of the bottle on the next footage. The look of the whole bottle is a tribute to the iconic inkwell. It has white lacquering on the inside and on the exterior it has a transparent crystal glass with different cuts. It gave flair to the overall look of the perfume. The cap of this perfume is also white with some subtle gold details like the name of the perfume, the flower on top, and its spray head. I got the set because obviously it's worth it. I actually have a very, very, very generous consultant. While I was there, he also gave me this one. Like a, a gift. Still, the signature perfume. Also has this. This is 100 ml and this is 50 ml. And then, with... Um, the same size of the perfume. This smells so fresh. The top note of this perfume is clementine, fruity, sweet scent. The middle notes are Mongolia, Ilang Ilang, and Pini. Those flowers smell so amazing. Smells fresh, easy on the nose. And the base notes are vanilla, white musk, and benzoin. I'm not really into wearing very very sweet scent but this one is different because it is also simple on the nose, it's super clean and the musk helps this fragrant feel you know cozy, warm. The vanilla is the first thing that I smell on this perfume. It actually reminds me of that vanilla lace from Victoria's Secret. But of course, this is much better because it has body. It's not just sweet vanilla fragrance. It's not just vanilla. It also has floral. It is powdery. Um, it's also musky in a way. I can see myself wearing this on any occasions actually and in any weather. It's just super fresh. Four to five hours of this being sprayed on my skin. The vanilla kind of like settled in and then I smell the freshness and the powdery scent of it. I obviously like this perfume. The price is amazing. It lasts long and it's right for my body chemistry. But if you want to ask yourself, is this perfume for me? There's only one way to find out. Go to your nearest Nordstrom or Sephora. Check this out. Don't just spray this on the paper. Spray it on your skin. Observe if you really, really like it on your skin. Also, just a little advice before you go to Nordstrom or Sephora, have a little list of the perfumes that you want to check out. Maybe five more perfumes. After you smell those five perfumes, you can probably ask your consultant if she or he can recommend you five more perfumes to try. My number when it comes to smelling perfume is maybe... 10. Limit your numbers when it comes to checking out perfumes. You don't want to go in there and spray 30 perfumes at once. Smelling all of those scents, you won't be able to figure out what really works for you or what you really want. List down all of the perfumes that you're interested in. Include this. See if you like it. Comment down below if you have tried this perfume at the store or own one. I just want to know if you like this particular perfume or not. But that's it. That's my advice. Go to your nearest Nordstrom or Sephora, check out some perfumes. Again, limit your numbers. Don't just walk in the mall and spray 30 perfumes at once. You will have a very, very hard time deciding on what to get. And there's a huge possibility that you'll come home empty-handed just with a headache. Do not expose yourself from too much scent. And that's about it. Thank you so much for being with me. I hope I was informative. If I was, please give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell button notification to be notified for my next video. Thank you all so much. Again, have a blessed and wonderful day. Don't forget your mask. Don't forget to frequently wash your hands or sanitize. Just stay safe. Smell good and have an amazing day. I'll see you next time. Bye.